Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to look at what to do next after completing a course. So you complete Swift UI sessions and learn all these new things and you're probably now shrugging your shoulders thinking okay what's next. Well it's great to follow tutorials and learn new things but something that you should do is once you actually finish a you know video you should actually apply this to either your own personal project or try to recreate it yourself the reasons why you want to do this is because it'll actually help you enforce your understanding since you'll be applying what you've learned into your own project you'll essentially understand how what you've learned works and can be incorporated into your work don't get stuck in the tutorial trap of watching videos and never applying it to a project you want to keep on repeating what you've done until it sticks because repetition is what will actually help you understand stuff. Think about it. How many times have you gone to McDonald's and been able to order a Big Mac without ever, ever having to think about it? You know, it just happens naturally because you've done it so many times. So that's what you want to do when you actually watch tutorials and also, you know, follow them as well online. Something else that you also want to do is actually build UI. So you want to enforce your layout skills by rebuilding UIs and animations in Swift UI. Now, in order to do this, what you can just simply do is just take everyday apps that you use, such as notes, weather, and the email app, or anything else that you just like to look up on your phone. Just try to rebuild this in Swift UI with the, just the layout, interactions, and animations to enforce your learning. So you don't really need to like rebuild all the logic with saving an email and you know putting a database and calling an API. You just purely want to just build the dummy UI and just lay stuff out on the screen. Now, another great resource that you can use to actually build UI is Dribbble. So Dribbble is a website that you can actually go on to and get inspiration for your designs. But just pick out a design that you see on Dribbble and just simply just try to build it in Swift UI. Doing this more and more, you'll be able to actually build more and more complex UIs. And you'll also find some cool concepts that you could apply to your own projects and learn new layouts. Now that you know how to do certain things and build UIs, the next thing is you just wanna build something. So you just wanna build a simple app. Now it's time to actually bring the concepts that you learned from my videos, the concepts that you've learned with building UIs and put it all together. So you're actually fitting the pieces together now, like a jigsaw, and you wanna build a simple app that contains no more than around one to five screens. You don't wanna build a 20 screen app because that can be overwhelming. Just build something simple. Now I'm gonna give you a list of some good ideas of things that you can actually build you could actually build a weather app you could also build a notes app you could build a to-do list app you could build a quiz app you could build a timer app you could also build a calorie counter app or you could just build a simple app that just solves a problem in your life let's say that every single hour you want to make sure that you drink some water you could build a simple app that sends you a notification to remind you to drink some water you just want to build something and these are a few ideas that you can do Try not to make everything perfect. Just go out there and build something. After you finish building your app, then you can actually reassess and look at the architecture and get feedback to improve your code. But you just want to get used to just building an app and seeing how to bring those ideas you learn together. Now you want to make sure that you actually get involved in some kind of a you know community and network with others. You want to be able to actually find and get involved in a community either online or in person. So meetups are a great way to go and meet new people and the city that you live in might have a meetup for iOS developers that you can actually attend and I'd highly recommend you go and check them out and just you know meet other like-minded people. Now if you prefer to actually do things online then search for you know iOS communities online so you might find a Slack workspace or you might just find people you can interact with on Twitter or maybe you'll find like you know a group online on Discord or something whatever you know floats your boat you just want to find communities and talk to people within it and network with others as well this will help you meet like-minded people to get better and also just meet some cool interesting people all right cool so that's everything in this video if you actually have any advice that you will give to someone when they finish a course i'd love to hear it in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to the channel and hit notification bell to get an update for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.